So how can authority play a role in your interviews and interrogations? Welcome back for tip number 52, 101 tips for interviewing and interrogation. Welcome back. So here we are at tip number 52, more than halfway through our 101 tip series. Hope you've been enjoying them. Got a lot more to come. Talking about authority this time in our influence and persuasion tactics. And how does that come to play in the interview process? Once again, we're crediting the work here and the background work and the, the seminal work of Dr. Robert Cialdini and some of the work of, Dr. Bo of, of Mr. Bob Berg. Great tools, look at those two names and you find their papers, their, their books. Great stuff to read. Once again, it's been used more than 60 years, as I mentioned before, and then it's an in fact, effective tactic in decision making. Remember the judgmental heuristics are shortcuts. What we're doing with authority is once again, when we made a decision, we've encountered a problem we need to resolve, we find those shortcuts. We found that in some cases that authority helps us make that decision. So let's talk about this place. For example, now, it's not authority that you command or you demand from the subject. You earn that respect or that title as being authority. But there are other ways to do that. For example, you see in, um, just as a kid, old commercials I used to see, um, choosy moms choose Jif. Mom's the authority. And so the message is twofold. Number one, mom's the authority and social proof, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Nine out of ten dentists prefer. Or watching the great um, commercials with hair, for, for, for hair products. Who do you see? Well, you see Troy Palomalu in, in, in using head and shoulders, former uh, uh, defensive player for the Steelers, uh, going to be Hall of Fame probably. Or you see um, Angelina Jolie or uh, Evangeline Lilly showing great women's hairs product. So that's an authority. So how do we play into that with the interview? Okay, once again, do not lie about evidence. I cannot emphasize that point enough. You will devastate and destroy and ruin this process. This has to be legitimate. For example, what you can do, let's say that you say to the subject, would there be any reason that we would find your DNA at the scene? Just as an example, okay? You could use fingerprints, you could use surveillance photographs, whatever. Fine, then I'm sure you have an objection. We can clear you using scientific process of DNA and that'll exclude you. Or ask the subject, would there be any reason we find you the scene the subject lies and tells you no. Remember we talked about Hans Scharf. We talked several episodes back, a look at it, about um, asking questions that you already know. Okay, you already know the answers to, correct? See the subject lies and then say, but you know, we have found this fingerprint. You said it wasn't. Can you explain that? Don't make up the fingerprint. Don't make up the evidence. Remember that. You said you weren't there, you didn't know that, but I have a statement from your mom that says you came to the house and had a dinner with her. Okay? Or that you, um, you, you can have, for example, another officer walk in and into your interview. Lieutenant wanted me to give you this report. This is the lab report that just came in. He wanted to make sure you have it. So you're capitalizing on some type of authority, forensic evidence. I have a signed statement where I have a sworn statement from, or I have video surveillance, or I have fingerprints, or I have your password and your um, username. We found the, the history on your work terminal, computer terminal, for example. The evidence that the ac uh, accident scene shows that your vehicle, uh, was the ex uh, accident reconstruction expert shows that you were going X number of miles an hour, okay? Or that you're overweight, or that there are so many parts per million in the spill. If you work for EPA, regulatory examples, you know the water's contained with so many parts per million. Or we found in her body, or the blood alcohol showed. Those are authority type of information. So use this as, as another effective influence tool. When the person sees, remember, they need the information to make a decision. They're in a difficult spot in many times. The majority of your subjects have not been here before and they're looking for guidance, they're looking for decision-making shortcuts, they're helping to decide what is best for them. Remember, that's what the interviewer is doing. You don't have to manipulate or coerce your subject but you persuade them that it's in their best interest to do so, to talk, to cooperate, to look for the best option for themselves. And authority is one of those. We're gonna cover some more of those. We've got several more to go in the, in the series on influence tactics. 
do some reading on it. You can even Google it and find some good research on there, some good papers online. Uh, be sure to check my website for upcoming courses. If you're open to conversation about how we can have a program for your agency or for your association, drop me a note, give me a call. I'll be glad to work this out, custom design those programs for you in any ethics type of criminal investigation. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube list. Also check our uh, text pocket guide that is available for you. Audio lecture series, which is going to expand very soon with new uh, section auto series if you want to do some at home work. Good to be with you again. Please be safe because I want to see you back next time with tip number 53. Be safe.